What is up, everybody? We're headed up the mountain right now. It is Friday the 21st. And um, tomorrow's supposed to rain literally all day. And it's like supposed to be a lot of rain, too. So not supposed to be really fun. And then Sunday, I don't know. I don't know what Sunday's supposed to do. A little bit of snow, I think. Mm -hmm. So. so we're hoping to get it done today. Yeah. Hopefully. I got off work early and we flew down here in the truck. Um, my, the yes, truck the truck has wings. It's like, what is it on the Flintstones? The Joneses. Yep, that's us. And uh, my mom is down here watching the boy and we are cruising up the mountain, headed up to where that guy shot that one last week. And when we were in there, it's hard to talk and walk. When we were in there, there was a lot more sign than one bull. Um, about half a mile down the ridge of where that bull was, there was a ton of sign. So we're gonna sit on the opposite ridge today and watch that hill. And hopefully, um, hopefully something feeds out of the pines before dark. Crossing my fingers. Really. I hope we can find something. Yeah, I'm pretty excited because we saw a nice buck on the way up here. They just got me excited. Yeah, there's a nice buck, but he was down in the houses. Yeah. And, and we can't shoot a buck in this unit. Yeah, this is a controlled unit for rifle. So. But it was still a really nice buck, and it still got me excited. So. Yeah. We can find something else. So. Yep, cruising up, and hopefully the elk are still in that same area. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Okay, we reached the top We're gonna keep following on this ridge up here Until we get to a spot where we can see across pretty good some elk sign there's some tracks so i'm hopeful that they're still in here i'll flip it around and kind of show you what we're looking at so it's just like this little this little pocket with all these pines and then this side's like mahogany's so we're gonna walk around this side and get up on top so we can look across into the pines so here we go. We still got a pretty good amount of time, so we're just gonna kinda slowly cruise along here. All right, pretty sure they're still in here. Just found some poop. Don't do this at home, kids. But it's like semi-squishy. Guys, he always does this. Somebody needs to tell him that he doesn't need to pick up every piece of poop. Seriously. Like step on it with your foot and then it just kind of squishy. You can get a rock or a stick and see how fresh it is. It's like, like, like every pile that we come up on that looks like decently fresh, he has to pick up a piece of poop and squish it in his fingers. It's disgusting. Oh, 
Oh, it's still got some juicy in it. That's like 3.5 days old. So they're, they've been in here this week. You can tell by the way it squishes. So, I think it's still We just don't know if we're going to be sitting the wrong side, is my only concern. I don't want them to come out on the face we're sitting on. So, cross my fingers that doesn't happen. Also, if you want to talk about poop, one time, one time my little sister, or was it me, dared Ashley to put a piece of old deer poop in her mouth, and she did it. Yeah, it was like ancient and dry, but she has, she has physically put a turd in her mouth. Not to or like move it around or anything. I literally like popped it in my mouth. No, <laughs> I did not swallow it. I literally popped it in my mouth. It was like ten years old. Like it was pretty old. <laughs> it was like rock solid. Like it was just straight up rock. So I wasn't worried about the germs at that point. But she just put it in and spit it out. Okay, we've all done dumb stuff in our lives, <laughs> especially when you get peer pressure dared. Dared by peer pressure. There you go. Alright guys, we just bumped like 10 elk. Um, and there was a good bull in the herd. They were on the face we were on. Um, but we're just gonna kind of back off. Give them a minute, maybe they'll settle down if we're going too far. And then I think we'll just kind of maybe creep along their trail or something. Or get to where we can see the next clearing over. Because they're still going to come out somewhere at night time. I hope so. I hope we didn't pressure them just, Yeah, I'm just not sure what they're going to do now. I don't think they'll go far. We need to like... We'll probably give them like 10 minutes. There was a bunch of cows. I think there was only one. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. Probably give them like 10 minutes and then um, maybe creep along their tracks and see where they're get, see where they're headed. Make a plan. Is that too tall? jumped on the tracks where they originally came across. I'm going to follow them for a second and kind of see what direction they're headed. Maybe give us an idea of what we need to do tonight. Alright guys. We decided to pick kind of a high spot that we can see.
I think y'all kind of like this weather, so I don't know. Um, we've looked across like two or three ridges now. We're going to go up to the clearing we were in last week and look across the rest of this canyon. Um, if we can't see him from there, we're going to jump over to the back side and kind of work our way back and see if we can see anything on the back side. If they're not over there, then my bet is they're hunkered up in the pine tree somewhere and not coming out. But find them. It's cold. Though. All right, guys, we found some elk across the canyon. Um, I can only see a calf and a butt of another one, so we're gonna hurry and get set up.
because it is freezing. Um, been sitting here, actually set up. Been waiting. We had probably 12 or 13 cows come across that clearing. I got some video with the camera, but it's just so cold that battery is not gonna last. Um, so I didn't, I didn't film super long. Um, but they all cleared through probably close to five minutes ago now. No bull, so we were kind of thinking the bull was at the tail end, but I don't know, he never came out. Might sit here for a few more minutes and then probably start heading back. It's freezing. think what a bummer dude we got so close bull's just not with him today yeah saw lots of cows it was a nice little teaser pretty unfortunate it's really pretty at least yeah well the smell's pretty i don't think there's very many people out today uh -uh. We haven't heard any other gunshots, so I don't know how many other people are out. We heard there was like nobody on the road before us. I think we were probably the first people in here, and then nice. I look good. Me too. <laughs> Check. There were a couple guys when we were hiking by. in. We heard yeah, some people drive by. They're going up higher, but. Definitely found the elk. There's just not a bull with him today. Yeah. I don't think he got shot. I just think he got smart. So yeah. I think it's the same group we saw two days ago. It has to be. It's like pretty much the same spot. Yeah. It's like so. a couple of ridges over, but same elevation, everything. Yeah. It's not far at all from where we bumped him the other day. But I think the bull part of the ways is staying in the trees. Yeah, I think mean, he knows that people are after him, so. Which I guess was smart on his part, because yeah. 
yeah, it's a lot less noticeable having one versus 13, 14. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's bigger next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go. Well, that's it for the 2022 Idaho Rifle Bull Tag. I actually saw one this time. Saw a bull. We got close. Why is that beeping at me? Not even moving. I don't know. Yeah, I actually saw a bull and um, saw cows two different days. So that's progress. Man, both those times that we were set up on them, I could have smoked them if they would have walked out in that clearing. <laughs> Yeah, I was that, so ready. If that bull would have walked out, he'd have been dead. Yeah. 480 yards and had a perfect dress, was, had the turret styled. We were ready. Kind of thought he would have came out last. Kind of thought all the cows would have came across and then he would have been behind them. And well, when we bumped him the other day, if it's the same group, when they started running, he, he was, was in always the in the back. back. Yeah. yeah. So. So we kind of thought he would have been in the back, so we waited for the last cow to come across, and then we sat there for probably 15 minutes, and he never came across, so yeah, we don't really think he was with them anymore. So that's it, but thanks for watching. It's cold. We're going to go back so and bad warm up. up. But yeah. I kept practicing. <laughs> I was like, if a bull walks out, I got to stop shaking. And so I'd like hold my breath and see if I could stop shaking and I could. I was gonna smoke him. He would have been dead if he had walked out. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next year. Get those things <laughs> off of me. <laughs> Freezing. I know. <sighs> Fart on him. No. Sit on him. Alright guys, thanks for watching, but we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.